Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Before we start this video, I want to show you some resources that myself and the team at Rebel have been working to perfect. So we uh, are finally able to show you right here the artist pad from Tablet Pro. It works perfectly with Rebel 4.1 and later. I have a tutorial on my resource page for Rebel 4. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, it really just gives you all the different tools that you that you want to be using uh, right at your fingertips so you can resize, size, open panels, uh, do basically all the different things that you'd want to be able to do. And switch brushes, all that jazz. Okay, so here is the resource page I have here at the top, the guide that'll tell you what all the different buttons do, this one right here. There's an affiliate purchase link right here, this blue button. If you use that, it'll help me continue development as well as support my family. And I really appreciate you using that. If you need a stylus, I have one on the website as well. This designed for artists and I like it. It's the one I use all the time as opposed to the two service pens I have. So there's tutorials here, right here. There's an introduction. There's the essential series, the brush creator series, and I will have advanced tutorials here as well, including a lot of demos, the PDF, for Rebel 4.1 and later will be hosted here as well. And the artist pad for Tablet Pro, you can find it right here. The install guide for Tablet Pro is right here as well. And that will walk you through setting up the artist pad that you saw uh, just a moment ago. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. If you guys are using a stylus to do digital art on a Windows 10 tablet, this is a fantastic channel for you. So subscribe right now. Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Brush Creator. Now, you can open the Brush Creator by clicking on Window and clicking Brush Creator, or in the Properties panel of whatever tool you have open. So right down here underneath the different volumes, you can see the Brush Creator icon. If you don't see all the settings, you can resize the Brush Creator with this little tiny triangle in the bottom right corner. So let's go through some of the basics of the Brush Creator in this first video. Up here in the right corner is the context menu. You have three options, reset brush changes, save changes as default, and save as new brush preset. These three options here, with the addition of close, these three can be found right here. Let's make an adjustment so that these are active. You have reset brush changes, save changes as default, and save as a new brush preset. The, the way that I like to think about it is temporary and permanent states. So here we can adjust all these different things and we've got a fancy new brush and we decide we don't like it. So in order to change that, we're going to click right here and we're going to reset it to its last permanent state. So we're back to what we had before. Now, if I change this and I go, wow, this new brush is awesome. If I want to save this as the new permanent state of the brush, I can click right here, save changes as default. Now, if I make some changes, and I go, yeah, I like the old one. I can click right here, reset brush changes, and it's gonna go back to that last state that we made. Now, if we like a brush so much that we want it to have a twin, you can click right here, save as new brush preset. It'll create a duplicate with a new number at the end of it. So this is super sprayer two, this is super sprayer three, and this is super sprayer. There's no super sprayer one, it's one by default. If I create a brush that I really like and I want to give it a very special name, what I can do is I can go over here and I can double click on the name and I can give it something really cool. Really cool super sprayer brush. <laughs> okay, so now we have the really cool super sprayer brush right here. If we make a duplicate, it will be really cool super sprayer brush too. Now, if I make a brush that I don't like, I can click right here and I can delete it. Yes, I want to remove it. I can click here to share a brush and it'll share it to the community. And you can also download your own brushes later from online that way. In the next video, we're gonna talk about saving settings specifically to a brush or specifically to a tool or media or saving them as system settings that apply to all of the brushes inside of Rebel 4. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.